So as luck would have it, the craft pot is black, which is nice. It's white on the thing. So I thought this was gonna be white. It's black, so that makes me feel good. I have chicken, potatoes, jalapenos, going for dinner, so that makes me feel good as a mama to have food cooking. Gotta get rid of the box over there, but we have done this and we've cut up the watermelon. So I filled this up and I know it's kind of late in the day, it's like past three o'clock, but this holds eight cups of water. I'm gonna try to drink as much of it as I can today, which probably means I'll be up all night, but it's a start, right? So Ms. Lennon is going through her closet. All of this is to donate, things that are too small. And she is hanging up her stuff and being such a big helper. It'll feel so good to have everything fresh and available and not just on the floor. We didn't have enough hangers, we finally got some, didn't we? <laughs> now you can just see all your options. Cannot wait to put these all around the house. So proud of the kitchen. It was such a mess. We hand scrubbed everything and oh, it feels so refreshing. Also got these rugs, which I'm not sure how I feel about. They're a little light. I thought they'd match the counters, which I absolutely hate. I feel like this is like camo hunter stuff. I'd love to change those out to marble. Ugh, but I mean, you know. It is pretty, but it's also like, I don't know, it's too country for me. But it's something at least, so when I'm cooking, my feet don't hurt so much. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm bitching at my water heater because sometimes when you intimidate things, they work. <laughs> no, but seriously. So we have this like nice, beautiful, way overpriced, almost half a million dollar house. The water heater is like shit. It needs replaced probably, right? But I'm swearing at it and hoping it will work. Bo always says to unplug the cord and leave it unplugged for like three minutes and then plug it in and then the water heater will reignite. It's been like this for a month and a girl just wants to take a fucking hot shower. I realize I need to call somebody to see if it needs fixed, but right now I'm just swearing at it because every time I swear at it, it turns on. And the only way to know if it's on is to shut the light off, which it's off, but then the blue light like appears under, so you know it's working. I feel like Tim the Tool Man is giving me this advice, girl, and I don't want to deal with Tim the Tool Man. I just want to take a shower or a hot bath. I can't deal with this life. This no hot water light. It probably needs replaced, honestly, though. Like in reality, this house was built early 2000s and this water heater is true to the house so if I'm quiet it might turn back on no <laughs> okay Good morning guys, I'm just waking up. I'm about to make myself an iced coffee and then I have a Zoom meeting with my lawyer for my horse accident. So that'll be really good to go through all that stuff. And then, and then, and then, and then, I have a doctor's appointment via telehealth at 11 and just, I wanna continue organizing this house. So I got a really good start on it last night, really happy about it. And there's nothing like waking up to a clean kitchen. Very, very proud. My house is so clean. I have a few projects I'm working on. Like, I want to, well, Jazzy's door. Something's wrong with the hinge thing. So we're replacing the hardware on that. And then back here, I'm going to do like a lighter gray. Those are way too dark. And then this black or really, really, really dark. And then lights that come down. So it just kind of gives that like ambiance. Morticia Adams vibes. That's why those pictures haven't been hung because I haven't been able to pick a color. I feel like Kourtney Kardashian, very indecisive. Got our baby stuff. I wanna move that to London's room, but it's been nice to have him out here just to make sure she's in a routine. To shut his lights off, turn them on, feed them, 
look at him just bas basking in his light. And then this is the current setup. Oh my God, I cannot believe I left the Coke can on there. I changed it up a little bit since Easter when I showed you guys last. I had different little things down there. Of course, my Gothic candles because why not? I think it's pretty. Obviously, we need a lot more furniture and some curtains and some paint because this type of wall is not working for me. But at least it's clean and it smells delicious because of Bath & Body Works in my annual sale. Love, love. So yeah. This is a little teeny tiny bit of the house. Usually this is trashed. <laughs> I'm gonna be quite honest with you, just because three kids, and not like trashed, but like lived in, you know, there's lunch dishes and cooking stuff, and I have it all organized. Again, not loving the rugs, but for now, <sighs> how long do you think this will last? So Lennon and I just made some TikToks talking about Mexican food, and <laughs> now I want tacos. But I promised her I was gonna make meatloaf, so that's what I'm gonna do. Well, then if I make taco meat and hamburger or meatloaf, which one are you gonna have? Both. Both? Okay, I was just trying to gauge how much meat. I'm prepared. Do you guys love my blazer? Mm, mm, mm. Get it, get it. Uh, uh. Show them girls, yeah. All right, my loves, I'm back again to show you how to cut an onion, okay? Onion is my favorite food. You can't have anything without raw onion. I'm making tacos. So you wanna cut the one end. I've obviously eaten some of this, don't judge me. I keep this on there so it's intact, okay? Then you take your very sharp knife and you're, want, you're wanting to cut as close as you can to this. This is a tear-free way to cut your onions, okay? Class is in session. If you don't pay attention, you can cry cutting your onions your way. You can do it my way and not cry. I've had to get very good at this because I eat raw onion with literally everything. Okay, so you want it to look like this. Like, you know, it's all intact, still a bit sliced. And then you're gonna go, mm, like this. And it cuts it in little pieces. Perfect for tacos. Perfect for smart ones, because you know your girl's on a smart one diet. Be showing you, it wouldn't take as long. But look, no tears, and it looks good. Let me show you. It's pretty much perfect. I want to let you guys on a little secret. Notice the calories, okay? So every once in a while, like we all do, I have a craving to eat something, especially, you know, midday before dinner. Like, usually people snack on chips or whatever while they're cooking. If I, like, cannot resist the urge of eating and I love spicy, I take a very clean fork. Okay, we do not double dip. And we get some jalapenos and we veg out because zero calories.